I lived as, as a gay woman up until sort of my, my early 20s. And I think my final year at uni when I was about 22, I started binding my chest. And it was strange because I still didn't know that I wanted to be male. I still didn't know that I was trans. I just knew that I was really different, that my body didn't quite fit. And then it, I sort of, I really hit rock bottom. I came to a place where I, I knew that what I was doing wasn't right. It didn't make sense for me. And after a lot of thinking, I, I, I realised that what was really going on was that I was, I was trans, that I, I felt like a guy. It was a really mixed feeling. I felt extremely relieved that I finally knew what was, what was wrong, what was happening to me. But it was also really quite traumatising because I thought that I was going to have to, you know, move into this space where I was just going to be rejected by everyone um, and that my life would essentially be over. But um, I felt that was my only option, that that was who I was and I had to start that process. I initially spoke to my GP who was unhelpful and so I changed GPs and went to one who wasn't prejudiced, which was really good and he was great. He was really, really helpful. He, he spoke to the PCT, they advised him that I needed to see a psychiatrist. Um, and I was really fortunate, there was a psychiatrist there who used to work in a gender clinic who had some awareness of the issues and, and was actually able to be really supportive. That was where I started to feel like it might actually be okay and that it wasn't going to mean the end of everything but it was more of a beginning. I met my partner just about a year before I started Hormones. She instantly just talked to me as male, assumed I was male even though I still you know, looked quite female and there were, there were no problems. It was really, really nice to meet someone who could actually just do that. Obviously, when I first met him, he was trans, but he hadn't started transitioning at all yet. And my only fear, I suppose, with the relationship when it started was that yes. I'm straight. And obviously, from an outsider looking in, it looked like we were a, a gay couple. But I'd never seen him as anything other than male. We're going climbing next weekend. Yes. Hopefully. The hormone therapy was, was interesting. And obviously, I had a huge amount of testosterone in my body, so there was only one thing on my mind. Um, luckily, that does tail off over time. Uh, and I can think of other things now, which is quite helpful. My period stopped more or less after the first shot. I was really lucky. Some people it takes longer. My voice started to break after about a month. It took a good year and a half for it to properly settle down. My body shape completely changed. You know, whereas I'd had a, a sort of hourglass figure before, you know, I'm much more straight down now. Um, and it was really quite sudden. You know, I, me I remember looking in the mirror one day, thinking, where where have my hips and and my thighs gone? And then realised they were around my stomach now. I could occasionally pass as male if people couldn't see that I had breasts. I knew that I did not want to have breasts at all. That was the biggest thing for me. So for me, one of my main priorities was, was to have a mastectomy. The first time I think I came back from the hospital and, that, and I, I walked past the window topless without having to go like that, it was just fantastic, it was great. And yeah, it's been one of the most amazing things that I've had done. There are lots of reasons why people decide to have genital surgery or not. In some ways I think I would like to do it, just because it, I would like to experience that, you know, to know what that feels like. But for me and for, so for, for some guys I know, it, being a man isn't necessarily about whether or not I have a penis. I don't have to do that in order to, to see myself as male. I see myself as male. I see myself as a trans male, particularly anyway. And now we've got over this transition and Jay is who he wants to be. And, um, our relationship is just like any normal relationship now. We're planning to get married next year um, and then we're going to go down the IVF route and have some some children. And so we've just sort of, now that all that pressure is off, we've gone into a normal relationship now and and uh, are doing what any normal couple would do. It's only a part of my life. It, it was a, the biggest thing in my life for a couple of years while I was transitioning, you know, because you have to go through that process. But you know, now it's just a part of who I am, you know, there's so many more parts to me, you know, there's my job and my relationships and my hobbies and my social life and that I'm trans.